This over here is my Intel Xeon 3475X test bench, let's call it. You know, this processor can draw about 400 watts, 400 watts, right, from the socket at stock. Because we've got this Animax Lictech 2 360mm AIO, I'm wondering if we can push it a bit more, because you've seen it you know push a bit more perhaps in some of my other videos but i'm really wondering what if we change a few things how far can we really push it can we get a higher score on this 36 core cpu than the best thread ripper out there with 64 cores let's find out Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. I have changed the fans on the AIO, right? The included fans are okay, right? These Animax ones. But I have added these Fantex T30 fans. And there's actually push and pull configuration of these. And these are all running like advanced maximum speed. These can go up to 3000 RPM. Right now, the pull fans are just idling there, okay? Because the push fans are just, you know, moving them around. They move, but they're not actually pulling, okay? They're just moving naturally, whatever the airflow is there. So let's have a look how good is this setup right now. We've got about 25 degrees in this room. Let's press start and let's have a look at what it, what does it do at stock. So right now at idle, we're pulling 165 watts. Let's press go. And on the load, we're pulling 400 watts, 397. All cores are going 3.0 or 2.9 gigahertz, as you can see. So three gigahertz base kind of score. And we got 50,000 points, 847, right? Okay, what was the temperature like? 52 degrees, not bad. Now, what I wanna do is, I'm gonna plug in the secondary, the pool fans, the second row of fans, and I'm gonna put them into this AIO header, which makes them run at 100% speed all the time. So it sounds quite loud and it's like, uh, quite a big airflow, right? And let's have a look at this now. Previously, we got 52 maximum. Let's have a look what we get this time. 41 degrees maximum, okay? So as you can see, we've got so much thermal room right now. So let's see how far can we push it, okay? Right now, all of the cores were going three gigahertz base, right? What if we change that and added extra one gigahertz on the base? So most of the cores now are going four gigahertz, okay? I haven't changed the core voltage offset, so it's exactly the same. Um, it should get the same voltage. Probably shouldn't need more voltage. Look, it's 1.2 volts, something like that there. As a creator, I always recommend not to do that, but just for scientific purposes, let's see if we can do it. By the way, I've got the NMX Revolution DFX 1050 watt power supply. And um, let's hope that this is enough for this system. I've got some fans going this way as well, cooling down the VRMs and all of this. Oh, I've just realized my RAM hasn't got an XMP on. So let's go to the BIOS and change that as well. AI tweaker, XMP1. XMP2, okay. So now our RAM is going 6,000 megahertz. Multi-core enhancement, remove all limits. So let's see what, what we can do. Save configuration and exit. I've actually raised the motherboard slightly as well. As you can see, it's not on the box. So I can get some airflow even through the bottom of the motherboard that will cool like the backside of the socket. So I should be getting even more cooling. Now, the interesting thing about this is that this is not like pulling out liquid nitrogen and trying to, you know, do something that's kind of unnatural. This is something that everyone can like do. It's not like unreasonable. You can just put extra fans in the like, you know, case or server rack or something like that to see how well does it perform. And bear in mind, that is quite warm room um, for something like that. If you added 20 degrees, 18 degrees, 
it would perform even better. Okay, the XDU didn't save. So let's put, we've just added extra one gigahertz on all of the cores, okay? And let's make this five gigahertz, one, two cores, that's 1.8 and that 4.7. So basically just literally adding these knobs, nothing else, everything else is unlimited. Let's take a look what happens now. I'm gonna plug the second row of fans back in. Okay, as you can see, we're just running four gigahertz. So we've added one extra gigahertz to to the cpu remember 50,800 something like that points let's take a look at this now only 660 watts oh -ho! we got extra like 17,000 points did with thermal throttle mm, no i don't think so and we pulled 667 watts okay 74 degrees some of these there do you know what i think this is not enough let's add extra 1.5 gigahertz okay this is now 4.5 gigahertz and the base was three. So we've added 1.5 extra gigahertz. And let's see if, 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 if we can do it, right? If this is possible. Okay, with thermal throttling now, they're pulling 900 watts. I repeat, 886 watts there. That's 74,000 points. We just flew past the Threadripper 5995WX. Okay, to Threadripper's defense, it only pulls 286 watts from the socket, and we were pulling um, 900. But this is more than the 64 core Threadripper, the, the fastest Threadripper possible right now. Let's see what the thermal throttling is like. It's actually on three cores, okay? Most of the cores are fine. And let's take a look at the temperatures in there they reached yeah 94 degrees so not 100 degrees like we see there but doesn't let it do um 90 degrees there's one more that's kind of hot the core 35 but look at these some of these are like 64 59 look core zero is 59 degrees 920 watts 906 watts 902 watts 74 893 so we didn't quite gain as much now. And let me see, the cores are just going 4.6, 4.7 gigahertz. The thing what you can do is actually, because this is, uh, we can do that, that some of these cores can go to 5.1, 4.9. So let's have a look at this. Look, this core zero is maximum at five gigahertz there, boosted to five gigahertz. Voltage offset off. Okay, uh, we, we crashed, looks like, uh, the uh, clear seamers. I've added like a little top cover here and then pointed the fans down so that we're actually like putting all the airflow back in here and kind of making it go out this way to make it as cool as possible. Quite fast boot times actually because the memory train does it does it much faster in here than a normal like Intel 12 uh, 13900K setup for example. It will train the memory for ages there, even though you have the same amount, 128 gigabytes. But this is a channel. So we'll go here. I'm going to turn the core voltage to back to zero. And these back to 4.5 in there. Let this go to 5.1. Okay. And now my main thing is to see if we can actually get a higher score than 74,800 or something that we were there before. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, crashed again. Okay, we're trying this 4.5 now. Thermal throttling, 900 watts, 878, 60, 74, 360. Okay, four cores of thermal throttling there. What if we take down these there? Actually, the core temperatures were fine there. One of them was there. Did we thermal throttle? Okay, why did they thermal throttle? Because it wasn't bad. Seven, 91 degrees shouldn't be the limit there. Well, I guess 91 is. Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm going to put this 4.5 still again. Right. But I'm going to close all of these things. 
to see if what where are we idling look we're idling 29 degrees right now okay we turn that one off exit we're gonna pause everything and let's go let's see if we can get more than 75,000 points 74353 come on come on come on come on come on come on let's try 4.6 I know it might not work. Power limit throttling. Oh, so it doesn't get enough power. Well, let's see. I'm gonna close this. And let's see. Still going. You can see that the first, it does very fast and then the outsides go a bit slower. 74,639. Let me try this one more time. We're idling and we're pulling 300 watts from the wall. Okay, I'm gonna press go. 1300 watts from the socket. This PSU is only rated for 1050 watts. Goodness me, did you see that? Oh my word. But here's what's interesting. We are actually able to push this CPU extra 1.6 gigahertz here now i know this is not um you know feasible there for most people but look how much actual performance is in the stock on this cooler let's have a look if we're thermal throttling yes okay thermal throttling there but is this impressive or not this NMX cooler, this is like a... Okay, I'll take this off because I can't talk. It's too loud. This NMX cooler is like a, a stock one everyone can buy from the shelf that you put on. But just by having these fans on, you can push easily double the wattage through there. And it kind of can cool it down, but, but it's just very, very impressive. I mean, when did you hear that an AIO can pull double the wattage what it's rated for or what it what it comes at stock for the CPU? It's it's insane. Obviously the Xeon platform is different as well. But what makes me impressed is that this NMX cooler actually can handle some pretty serious loads. And I'd highly recommend uh, upgrading the fans on it if you're using this whether you know in a workstation system or in a rack system somewhere in a server uh, i think these fantix fans really give this extra performance and unlocks this uh, cooler even more which is very very interesting let me know what you guys think should you be doing this i, I don't think creators should be doing this in fact uh, don't do this as a creator if you're a creator don't overclock or underclock your cpu that's it. But if you think, okay, this is nice, but you want to build yourself a PC, perhaps not spend as much as this, then check out the best bang for buck PC build guides in the description below. I've got everything laid out there for you. Whatever your budget is, pick the video that's closest to yours and I'll explain it everything there. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.